Hey, what's up guys? My name is Victor and you're welcome to the First Time Investor. Today, I want to bring to your attention a project that is on Cardstarter and it's called Onvest. Onvest is launching very soon and I think that is going to be on the 31st of August 2021. So there isn't much time. Registration is already on for those of you who have been tracking this project. But for those of you who probably will be interested in knowing what Onvest is all about, I'll quickly try to answer maybe four or three or four questions as quickly as possible. Before I proceed, I need to say a couple of things one is i'm not a financial advisor so endeavor to do your own research before you make any investment decision and the second thing is that if you're new to this channel we try to highlight these kind of projects in the ido ico stage before they become mainstream so if you're interested in keeping up to date with new projects before the launch then feel free to subscribe to the channel so that you can get updated with the gist ahead of time and you can take action before the rest of the market catches up to the news so what is on vest and what exactly are they trying to solve? We see on their website that they say that they are an open multi-chain DeFi protocol for trading locked tokens. I'll explain and summarize this as simply as possible. When projects um, launched, typically the project owners and developers would seek for funding from angel investors, from ventures, as well as private sale to selected members of the public. Unfortunately for them, on the launch date of their projects, once the projects are, are listed on platforms like um, Uniswap or PancakeSwap, the rest of the angel investors or the early level investors typically dump their tokens on the rest of the market. And that is, a, that is typically bad for the value of the tokens because it will cause a crash in the price due to sudden supply of tokens or so sudden flooding of tokens into the market. It's going to affect the liquidity system and it's also going to affect public confidence in the project because some people might perceive that as a typical um, pump and dump scheme. And so in order to mitigate against this, many project owners and developers in invoke what we call vesting schedules to early level investors. And so early level investors are unable to sell their tokens for a period of maybe three months to as much as even five years. Unfortunately for the investors, that is sometimes when they want to change position on some of their investment, it is not um, profitable for them to hold on to those tokens for that length of time and they would like for a means to transfer ownership of the vested tokens from themselves to someone else. That usually involves them going in, uh, into shady deals with people that they do not trust. And so it's always been a very uh, murky situation as regards vested schedules or vest vested tokens in, in general. But with Unvest, what they have created is a white label system that anybody can use to create the schedules as well as to create the vested tokens so that any early level investor will be able to swap their tokens um, for to someone else and that will be monitored on chain without affecting the liquidity positions that you, they have on the DEXs meaning that I can change ownership of the of my vested tokens from myself to someone else without affecting the price and the value of the tokens in the general market, which is a brilliant solution as far as I'm concerned. And it's a thing that has been, maybe we didn't know that we needed, we, or we knew that we needed it, but no one had actually come out. I haven't seen any other project that looks like this in the crypto space. And so this is kind of really exciting. And if we look at um, the people who are also backing this project from an institutional standpoint you see that we have a lot of backers for this particular project they believe that this is a solution that is needed in the crypto space and on vest seems to be the first i'm not very sure i'm yet to verify but i'm yet to find any other project that has this same idea in at this implementation um the team behind this project are also fully docked, you can see that they have experiences working for some of the biggest tech firms in the world, including the likes of Google, Airbnb, Dropbox, Zero, and um, Shell Chevron. You can take a look at their profile and also track them on LinkedIn to be sure that they are who they say they really are. So how can we get involved in the Onvest IO project? This project is already live for registration and the date for the tga is on the 31st of august 2021 so if you want to invest you really don't have so much time because it's already listed on cardstarter on the upcoming ideas 
registration is on and for you to be able to qualify like i've mentioned in previous videos you need to invest in the card tokens and get involved in some of the tiers that they have on cardstarter.io and for the lottery um for the lottery bit allocations you need to have at least 100 cards staked on this platform for you to be able to qualify for the lottery the highest um qual the highest um allocation is called the aces and you need to that involves you staking twenty thousand card tokens but those are the guaranteed tokens the guaranteed level starts from 1500 cards to twenty thousand cards for 100 to 1000 you would have to take part in both a whitelisting project as well as a lottery to see if you qualify at the end of the day so that is um, a just very condensed summary of what onvest.io is and how we can participate. Um, like I said, the registration has already started and the project would launch on the 20th, on the 31st of August 2021. There isn't a lot of time. We can also see that one of uh, my my most anticipated project Paribus is also going to launch very soon. I think that is going to be on the 27th of August 2021. So if you are also interested in that particular project, I think registration has closed for that particular project. And so you cannot participate if you haven't registered yet. But for Onvest.io is going to still be on the Cardstarter platform. And for those of you that know Cardstarter, Cardstarter has had a history of fantastic ideals that have at least uh, that have done fantastic fantastic uh, done well for many of their early level investors including projects like charlie tree um, giro wallet as well as spores token on real finance just launched um a few hours ago and i think um, I think I may get a, a prediction of about a dollar for what I consider to be a bad day. And today kind of was a, um, a bad day for cryptocurrency trading because the market went sideways. But I think Unreal Finance almost got to a dollar, I think like 96 cents. And so those who got into the IDO, I think 914 of those who got into the IDO have some sweet gains in their hands, even though it's not a thousand X or a hundred X, but it was still um, profitable for them. And that's the same feeling I have regarding Onvest.io. I think it's going to have it's going to have um, massive gains for those people that will be able to get into the IDO stage. And um, I think another important information for us to note is that the total max supply is going to be 1 billion tokens, but circulating supply for the token generation event will be 28 million. And so we're going to have 28 million. It's going to be a definitely is going to be an inflationary token but with burn events they would have to continue to reduce the total number of tokens that were made available as well as the scheduling of the token release which is going to take i think i, I saw somewhere close to nine years i'm not quite sure now i need to verify that but it's going to take a long time for all these tokens to be released out into the wild and so you you should not expect the prices of the or the value of the tokens to dip anytime i think this is one token that um, has long-term value and long-term growth potential uh, considering, uh, considering how vested um, they've run the vesting schedule as well as the token release schedule means that um, not all 1 billion will be made available at once we're only going to have 28 million tokens so there's a level of um, serious scarcity that's going to be uh, there's going to be on the network once these tokens are released um, like i mentioned earlier they have a lot of backers already and so this is one project i think i should you should have on your radar if you haven't um, taken a look at it it's not financial advice but take a look at their white paper they also have a very wonderful video on the website that explains um, what this project is all about and what they are trying to do and i think you should give it a watch because it will help you understand fully what invest.io is trying to do and whether or not you want to invest so that's all i have for today guys um, until i catch you guys in the next one stay blessed